Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today I'm going to take a look at this cheap desoldering pump that I bought on Amazon. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this cheap, I think I paid $12.99 for it on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, it's a desoldering pump so and soldering iron in one, so basically it heats it and sucks away the solder. A bit like my cheap soldering pump, where you just compress it down, press the button and it sucks the solder away. Um, but on that one obviously you've got to get a soldering iron in there, you've got to get this in there, it's got quite a solid tip, not the, the soft um, latexy type ones. So it just never really got in there tight enough to suck that solder away. So I've seen mixed reviews on these on Amazon. Some people saying it's, they're absolutely amazing and they work really well. Other people saying they almost catch fire and fall apart. So be interesting to see how it works, see what we can do with it, and then maybe if it's a tool that we can use in the future. So I think what I'm gonna do is get a spare board from around here somewhere. I've got loads of spare parts from previous fixes where I've taken faulty parts out. Let's desolder a couple of things, see how easy it is to work with, and then we'll go from there, see how, I'll probably take it apart and see if we can clean it as well, just do a bit of an overview of the whole product, just to see how it is. Um, I'm not gonna be able to give you a, a bit of a long-term use on it, because we're just gonna do a quick review today, but what I might do is in a couple of months time, once I've used it a few times, um, I might do a bit of an update as well, just to see how we got on with it. Cool, I'll catch you in a bit. So that's that, and then that's how easy it comes out. So literally, a couple of sucks on that sucker, and we're out. Uh, that is so easy. The, the contacts on this are nice and clean. They're not um, taking any pads off. I did lift one pad off on this here earlier, um, when I was putting too much heat onto it. Um, I put too much heat onto it, left it for too long, and it lifted the pad off there. So that would need to repair, just to make sure that pad was, um, fixed if it was ever to be a working system so this is why I wanted to test it on a dummy board first of all just to see and get used to how it works um, but I've taken loads off this board now it's pretty much bare and yeah other than that one pad everything else has come off pretty smooth so yeah I've got a pile of 
party, you know, um, which can go into the party bin. All the capacitors will go in the bin, but there are other bits there that I might use in the future. Some of these connectors, for example, are useful. Maybe that um, power reg. Um, but the rest of it's going to go in the bin. Um, yeah, so that was really easy. I'm really impressed with this. It's a it's a nice little tool. It's nothing um, fancy. It does the job quite neatly. What I want to do now is let this cool down. So I'm going to unplug it, let it cool down, and then we're going to give a go at cleaning it out because obviously it's sucking all the solder in into this chamber in here, um, and I don't know how we clean it out. So we need to figure that out. Um, clear out the, the solder that is sucked up. I don't think you need to do it that regular, but what I did notice is every now and then I'd push the solder, the pump down, so you push this lever down, and it would spit out some solder. So you've got to be careful that you're not spitting out solder over your board because that could cause shorts and things like that. So um, just be careful when you're pushing that lever down, you're doing it over a surface that doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, the, the solder, if it comes out, it doesn't really damage anything or burn you, which is another thing I've done. Um, yeah, so let's. Unplug it, let it cool down, and see where we go from there. Cool. Okay, so that worked pretty well. I've let it cool down, it's nice and cold now. Um, I'm gonna have a look at how we clean this thing out. Um, some people have said they've unscrewed everything and taken it apart. Other people have just said they've managed to uh, clean it by getting this um, vacuum part out. So obviously that's the solder sucker part. It's similar to my traditional solder sucker. And then this is just basically a fancy soldering iron with, a, I'm guessing, a the tube going right in the middle which sucks it into here so I think you literally push this forward it says you push it forward and lift up but it doesn't seem to be wanting to lift up oh there we go so it lifts up oh there we go easy so it's not hard to clean out um, obviously once you've done that all your solder and things are going to be everywhere so you can see how much solder we sucked out in there there's some inside the, the barrel itself um, on the spring and there's some inside this unit here so clean it all out get rid of all the, the spare solder and we're literally going to just pop that back into here that into there pushing it down pushing that into place there we go okay so it took a little bit of persuading to push it back in but it wasn't too hard it was just me being a little bit cack handed more than anything but there we go so we're back into place solder sucker is working again so there's not a massive amount of solder there there's going to be a lot more in that barrel and on that spring if we were to clean all that out as well um, also when I was pushing this back down it was often squirting out solder so you need to be careful of that that's I said earlier I think if you're doing it over the top of a PCB it's very easy for you to short something out by just pushing it out and squirting out solder over the top of something else which is not good so let's do a bit of a wrap up have a look at it and then we'll go from there cool okay so there we have it a cheap and cheerful steep soldering pump and that was really good i'm really impressed with that i don't obviously there's some on amazon for like 90 pound 200 pound 300 pound um all the, the really nice make ones and things and they're, they're really good they're not gonna they're, they're pump fed as well so they're not on this solder um, sucker type of machine it's actually on a, a motor so you put it over the top press the button a vacuum kicks in and it sucks away the solder those are going to be absolutely much better than this thing but for 12.99 and for the work that I'm doing out here that is absolutely spot on for me um, it smoked like hell for the first maybe 10 minutes I thought it was the something heating up and going wrong with it um, I think it's just because it was a new iron that it was heating up and it was smoking the first time I pushed that plunger down, it was like somebody was vaping and there were smoke clouds coming out of it were absolutely uh, massive. Um, I wasn't wearing a mask and I need to get some kind of um, uh, filter system in here because I'm soldering more and more and it's quite an enclosed space. It's quite a decent size but it's enclosed and I need to get something that's going to take those fumes away from me um, with the more soldering I'm doing. But that was absolutely amazing. So I did manage to um, lift one trace on a, on a, pe on a connector that I was doing and that was just because I was testing it out and seeing how long I could hold it on there and it was too hot. It's meant to be a 40 watt iron, but that is really hot for a 40 watt iron. I think it's just because you're applying it direct on the top rather than to the side like you normally would when you're soldering. Um, and it's a quite a big surface area of heat going straight onto that board. Um, so you've got to be careful. I would prefer to do more um, heat and suck than uh, fewer. And then if you were to do one long press on there you're going to end up damaging the board especially on thinner boards like that um, 
really good, really impressed with it, really chuffed so far. So what I'm going to do next is, I've got a couple of projects I need to use this on, and I wish I had this on a couple of other projects I've done recently, because that would have been an absolute lifesaver. Uh, one of the next things I'm going to do is one of my arcade monitors. I've got a whole board on there to recap. Um, so I'm going to put this to some good use and put it through a, a quite a long process of desoldering every single capacitor on that board. Um, probably about 20 odd capacitors. So um, we'll see how it performs on that one as well. But yeah, really chuffed. Link in description down below. Thank you for watching guys. I know it's a bit of a different video, but I do like to review these um, little tools when I pick them up because um, it's quite handy. I always look when I'm buying something like this for reviews just to see what it's like. Um, as I did say, there are some people on Amazon saying that they've caught fire and melted and things, but I think you see that on most uh, soldering equipment that there's always one in a bad batch and things with which things melted or they've used it incorrectly or heated it and laid on a on a on a bad angle or something. But um, at the moment, this is performing really well. Um, I've only used it for maybe 30 minutes most. Um, so any longer test on it then we'll see how it really performs so cool thank you for watching the usual stuff comment down below any questions um, like subscribe and I'll catch you soon cool